Gypsy Joe, comment to you. I've retired you many times, and I guess last week was the last time. So, Gypsy, you're not in this picture anymore. You're not in this scenario anymore. I've got something to settle with Jeff the Crippler Daniels. Jeff, let me tell you something. You tried, and you almost succeeded in crippling me. What you did do, you sidelined me. Three to four weeks. You can't fit this much of separating my shoulder. But luckily, the good Lord was on my side. It's a badly bruised shoulder, enough to keep me out three to four weeks. But during the three and four weeks, I've got something in my mind going over and over, something in store for you. You know, Mike Duncan and I have been friends for a long, long time. And you know, the last person laughs last, laughs loudest. And you know, he's going to put me in that ring, hopefully one day, against you. Because I don't forget what you've done. The great fans of Columbia, Nashville, all of Tennessee, Kentucky, Alabama, it was good to see everybody. And it's going to be good to see everybody every time I walk into an arena. But in the back of my mind, it's you, Jeff, is who I want. Now, you can bring anybody you want in your corner. You can have anybody managing you, seconding you, or whatever. But I've got a very big surprise in store for you if you try to do something to me with somebody else. And the person I'm talking about is going to be the shock of your life who I'm going to talk to and come in just to take care of you and whoever you want to have in your corner. Now, you may have succeeded in what you've done. And like I said, I've been knocked down by bigger and better men than you, and I've come right back up. But yet I'm sidelined, but you're not forgotten. Because I have a chance to get back in that ring of you, Jeff. It's going to be you and me. Anybody else you want in that ring, bring them on. But I've got somebody to count like anybody you have. And I'm going to tell you, you're a tough customer. You know, don't get me wrong. One of the toughest wrestlers around. But you know what? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And my father, the late Nick Goulas, always told me there's always somebody bigger, badder, and better than the next person. And maybe I could be the one. If you have somebody coming there too, I've got somebody to be just as good as who you're going to bring in. So every time you try to do something to me, Jeff, I've got something to counteract you. And like I said many times before, I've wrestled 19 years, and I've come back after a lengthy layoff to come back to the sport I love and I cherish for all my life. And when my father was around, he told me before he died, but he said, you know, son, if you want to get back in the wrestling, we'll stay in it. It's there for you. Well, I got out. I'm teaching school in Columbia at Whitthorn Middle School. I'm coaching basketball. I'm refereeing basketball, umpiring fast pitch softball. But in the back of my mind for the years I've been out was professional wrestling. And I hope the good Lord and my dad is looking down on me today when I make this interview and my dad's got that big smile saying, I know he wanted to stay in wrestling. That's why I'm back. I wanted to come back in a little bit different fashion than what you did to me, Jeff. But you've come. You've done your damage. That's what they called you the crippler. And you almost crippled me, but like I said, it came from that much of crippling me. But one day, I'm going to have my day. Because I'm going to tell you, sometimes in these interviews, your bark is louder than your bite. And when you get in that ring, in that squared circle, you and me, about time I get my revenge on you. I'm not going to forget you. I'm not going to lay low. And I'll tell you one other thing. You better watch your back at all times and who's walking behind you because you don't know who it may be. It may be me. It may be somebody I have. The special surprise that's going to come in and take care of you and your partner or partners wherever you go. You better watch your back because, Jeff, you started something that's not going to end until I get in that squared circle and take care of you and whoever you want to have in the squared circle with you. Now, for the rest of the fans, I'm taking it easy for a while on the doctor's orders. I am going through therapy a little bit. Luckily, it wasn't my right arm would be hard to teach school and things like that. Sure, my left arm hurts, but I'm hurt worse inside because mentally you tried to destroy me first time back in the ring. And like I said, you sidelined me, but you didn't cripple me. And remember, Jeff, you're on my hit list.
hey, you know, this 